How's it going? Yes, it's on. It's hard to see me. Doing pretty well. Lot of Got them to come over here. While we're over here and he's doing what he's got to, then, then Grandma shows up, who's over there. And I asked her to step off the scene and go back there. She's back there, she's not bothered, but she was all up in here video and so I asked her to step back. She she did. Then all of a sudden, the guy who doesn't talk, you know what I'm talking about, he does, who uses the machine to talk into, yeah. comes over literally right up at my window. He's sitting there recording in my car and all over us. And I said, sir, we don't need this right now. We're in the middle of an investigation. I need you to take your take it over there. And then he comes over and he starts talking to them, getting in the middle of the investigation. I told him if he's across the line again, I'm going to go ahead and put him in the cops. So he's unrelated to this whole incident? Totally unrelated. Okay. Oh, so yeah, 100%. Yeah. I went ahead yeah. and uh, you placed him under. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's The whole time arrest. when he was knocking on your window, it was, everything was on, right? This was on the whole time? Yeah. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, but did he impede his investigation at all? Yeah, so he was in the, so we're uh, sitting here trying to let him do what he's got to do as far as this. And so, yes, it's his investigation, but ultimately. Yeah, ultimately, I'm, you're holding the perimeter as well. Right. Solid. Okay. Yeah. 100%. I love it. And that's the guy that always. That's the guy who came up to me and you at the gas station. Okay. He's thinking, what he's trying to do is he's trying to, trying to get arrested so that he can somehow accuse us of violating his rights. So, that's what he's doing. And you gave him numerous commands. Okay. Uh, do we have the second car? The second car already left. So Everything's 10-4? Yeah, she has unregistered motor vehicle, no insurance. So, just dealing with that, obviously, she cut across the lane and some traffic. Okay. Oh, okay. That looks pretty good damage, too. Well, it's, it's nice not to get lunch again. And he's 100% working the crash. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You can stand in the shade. I'm not going to lie to you. We were coming out here saying, what, what nonsense what is going on? Is he it's Dinellon, man. But all right, I, I get it. This, uh... I've dealt with I've dealt with this guy a few times, and this has been a. Well, it was one thing when it's just when it's them, and we're going to try and handle it. But then it comes over and starts to interject and add in. Is he the only one that's out? Yeah. Yeah, because they got Delta Nine on the AP hole. They don't work. Sorry. They still got to come to work. Not when they got the KP hole to cover. He's supervised, bro. He gets to do what he wants. Oh. Well, now that you're here, I'm going to go ahead and take my guy. Just to make sure that he's... Oh, he don't need us anymore. Well, is he going to 15? No, but he's got a few citations. He expects that they're going to be... Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll stay. So that's why he asked me to stay, so... Yeah. You stay here because you're not going to be nice. That's fine. I'm good. So who's driving this? Me. You. Okay. Everything all right? <laughs> What's the thumbs up for? Don't give her any. Let's make it sure. I could care less about the car. I just care about the well-being of the people. You can always get another car, but you can't get another person. So I'm glad you're okay. That's all I care about.
Yes. We moved up there about 12 years ago, so glad to be away from this place. Remember when it used to be a 76 gas station right here, and that was the hell of a safe bank. These guys are too young for that. Yeah, you don't remember I'm 32 that. years old. <laughs> used to be a one You're still a bridge. baby. Used to be a one-lane bridge across the river right there. Grandmas are allowed to call lane. anybody younger <laughs> babies, okay? This here was the 76 gas station, and you had the bank there and all the drug stores down there where ABC is. You know, it wasn't, there was a four-way stop sign right here. Didn't have Walmart, didn't have all these bad food places. How many people are in the car with you? We just came from a funeral, so it was the driver, I mean the passenger, and then the backseat. So your friends? No. Family. Family? Yeah. Oh. My husband, my um, aunt, my kid, my niece. Not for this. Not for this. We already had one come. Did you lose, leave someplace exciting for this then? <laughs> you don't seem very happy. Not for this. This is this, this is the this city. Is my face all the time. This is Den Allen. Yeah. We're used to it. That's why we left. Den Allen is a nice town. We just came from Ocala Estates. Oh, oh geez. That's not good. That's a rough place. That's why it took us so long to get here. Oh, you all were called at the beginning? Uh, sort of. We finished a call and then we were asked to come out here because I guess that other guy was acting out. Oh, yeah. Is that his car? No, that's, oh, no, that's mine. Car. We were right just about a block down there at the birthday party. She called me hysterical. How'd the guy with the voice box get in? So he well, actually got, he, got he was shot at with somebody shot at him at the he wouldn't, taxi down there. He wouldn't and bother he was just anybody. asking the cars, like, do you know who this is? And the guy, the other sheriff, he got mad because, like, he was on the, his scene or whatever. He was and standing was over there. there showing the right. passerbyers right his ticket and the PD. Richard. I'm going to arrest you if you don't move. And the guy said, he wasn't bothering he anybody. Well, he's laughing. I think he knows. I get both sides. Yeah, yeah. Well, you get yeah, both sides. See, the problem is with them, you get one side. We dealt with him in I've the past. I've been here my entire life. I know every one of those Richards. Sorry. Oh, I'm, I'm upset. This is just wrong. Especially seeing that poor man. Being like I said when I walked up, I don't care about the vehicle. I know. It doesn't matter so that walk, everybody inside are okay. You family drama and that's what happens. Yeah. That's like, she okay? Yes. I don't know where the baby's at, though. They had to take the baby away. Uh oh. Yeah, as soon as he hit the car, it was in. How old's the baby? One. So you can imagine. He, she's probably screaming. He, yes, he was. It's off. I'm sorry for going off. No, you're fine. You're fine, man. Yeah, So, in, to, as a third party, yeah. to try to explain that whole situation, right. um, I get that, you know, it's an accident, your kid's involved, you want to make sure, that, kid, yeah. family's involved, yeah. you want to make sure everyone's okay, but when, when we have more people showing up on our scene, that, yeah. it raises all kinds of alarms we in our heads. They were over there, we were over here, and we were standing right there, and he, and he came over, so he asked us to go on the other side of the truck. Well, there's chase cops right here, so I stop so we, it. And I get it. Thing. It's just something that makes us nervous. I, I just want you to. Here's the thing. They can move over here. I, I didn't call It wasn't that we couldn't be near each other. I'm just explaining what was going through his head. <laughs> they all came over here when we came over here, and nothing changed. But, I mean, I didn't come to call. I just called to check to make sure she was all right, if she needed the ride, if she needed what. Anybody could do that with a hysterical. I mean, we were only a block away at a birthday party. We're not here to cause trouble. Just that, make sure. that fella who got carted away, he's a he's what you Problem. call a First Amendment auditor. Basically, what it does, what it, what they do is they get their cameras, they come up to us, and they try to get some kind of bad experience with us. So that way, they can sue us later or make us lose. Except he was videoing. He didn't 
was videoing mostly that way. I think he was talking to the people that were in the traffic that was coming because he so quickly got shot out there. He was doing street. a lot of holding his sign out and pointing, but he did have a video camera. But he was more or less pointing to the traffic. I'll make sure there ain't no calls real well, quick. Yeah, he's a I problem. I wasn't there, but I can tell you there wasn't any calls. Get by How's it going? Yes, it's on. Thank you. What's your name? Sergeant Sheely. How are you going? Doing very well. What can I help you with? Well, you have more you read than me. After I gave up the DB, I grabbed a violation. I was bending 30 feet away when he handcuffed me behind my back. That was violation number one to me. You hit my hand yet? I'm angry yet. And he knew it. The officer looked down now and told him about me. So he knew that I had this device to be with. He knew I had all. Because they see me there all the time. Okay, let me explain something to you, okay? Regardless, this has nothing to do with you being handicapped at all, okay? They were working an investigation of a crash scene that happened and with near that. Listen. Listen to me. Okay, well, what the officer say to me? I want to know what this is. Because you're not explaining it right now to me. What is the officer say to me? You're not letting me explain it because you keep talking. You got to listen, okay? They were working a traffic crash investigation surrounding that parking lot they were in. They had to tell other people to get away because they y'all were diverting their attention off what they were doing so they could do their investigation and get out of there. You were diverting their attention off of their job to you. It's an officer safety thing when people keep walking up to them and filming. They don't know your intentions. The one guy knew you. The DPD officer knew you. The, the other guy didn't. The sheriff's officer didn't know you were. And he told them why was before he It doesn't matter. You diverted their attention off what they were doing. You were told several times. That's why you're That's why you're, happy. That's why you're here. It doesn't matter. He had told you multiple times by then to please get away. You can film. He said stand over here and you can film and do whatever you want to do. It is. I just watched it. Okay. Well. Okay. In the street? Yeah, that's what you no. want me to worry. I want that. It's my boy. I want like this. And then the police car was over there. I was 30 feet away. It doesn't matter. You I were still there. diverting their attention off what they were doing. Oh, I can't help me. He has a DD. Okay. He shouldn't be working the job. Then if he can't keep his mind out of traffic violation. Okay. Uh, is this, is this, I'm a supervisor. I, I know you requested yeah, to talk to a supervisor. That's fine. Okay. Okay, you can bond. Do you have a bond? That they, can, they can tell you on your paperwork. What is his bond? Thousand, probably. Somewhere around there. Oh, they're resisting or obstructions? Yeah, thousand, thousand dollars. Yes, still bondsman. Yes. Okay. I don't work in here. They will. They'll deal with all that. Okay. Okay. You have a nice day. Yeah, you have a nice day.